every 20 minutes. It's your statewide Alabama weathercast. Hi, I'm meteorologist Drew McCombs with your midday statewide forecast. So across the state, uh, lots of showers and thunderstorms out there right now. You can see some heavier storms down in the southern part of the state that have been moving through Escambia and also Covington counties. There has been some heavy rain and thunderstorms down in Mobile and Baldwin counties earlier, mostly a little bit lighter rain over Mobile County right now. And then in the northeast part of the state, we've seen uh, quite a bit of heavy rain and thunderstorms as well. Some of our sky watchers reporting uh, heavy rain and a good bit of lightning with some of those storms earlier. And you know, we're in a tropical air mass right now. And so that's part of the reason we're getting so much rain with any of these, these heavier thunderstorms. But looking at the current radar, you've got, again, those heavier thunderstorms that have kind of moved across the state line now, moving up towards the north. And again, some of that rain left over. It looks like 65 starting to clear out this at this point, but if you've got any plans to be traveling along that uh, later, later on this afternoon, still something to be careful of as you're driving with some of these heavier downpours that are going to be coming through here. And again, moving through Evergreen up towards Greenville. And we've got, as we continue to move to the north, not quite as heavy rain around the kind of south central part of the state. Montgomery, just a few showers around. Selma, just a few showers around as well. As you move further to the north, looking like we're going to see, we're seeing a little bit of extra development here and some heavier cells starting to form along some sort of a boundary, I guess, here along the 5920 corridor. So you know, in the Birmingham area, up to the northeast, over in parts of St. Clair County, uh, looks like we've got some heavier thunderstorms starting to develop there. Uh, this afternoon. And as we move to the north, again, uh, a lot of that heavier precipitation that was in both DeKalb and then now moving up into Jackson counties is starting to kind of move, move away. But a lot of heavy rain up on Sand Mountain and Lookout Mountain as well earlier this morning. All right, so let's take a look at the sky cams. Florence, not as much rain in that area of the state in the northwest right now, looking from the, from the campus of the University of North Alabama. Pretty looking skies currently with those um, sort of tropical looking cumulus clouds. Mount Chiha, it's hard to beat this camera uh, as far as across the state. Just a really nice view out there. Again, a good bit of low cloud cover uh, and maybe a little bit of haze there in the distance. Uh, temperatures in the 70s, really, in, in a lot of places across the state. Same thing in Dolphin Island, 76 degrees. We're looking towards the north here, and there, there is some rain and some thunderstorms off in the distance there. So, so catching some of those as well, but not currently raining a whole lot, at least right there on the island. But what we're watching... Numerous showers and some storms for today, expecting the most the same kind of thing for tomorrow and maybe a little bit on Thursday as well. Highs below 90 for most, so most people are going to be in the kind of upper 80s area. And then as we get into the later part of the week, a drier pattern is in store. Looking at our temperatures again, mostly 80s. Some places, though, 79 in the upper 70s, 78 in Mobile. We're getting into the upper 80s in places like Demopolis at 88 degrees. Uh, but again, I think most places are not going to quite touch 90 but there's plenty of moisture and plenty of humidity in the atmosphere. The dew points are in the mid to upper 70s in most spots. So uh, feeling a little juicier out there than what we've been seeing uh, most of the time here in the last week or so. And it hasn't felt as, felt as much like August as you would expect. But uh, the reason for the enhanced rain chance is kind of a, a two-part uh, thing here. So you've got an upper-level trough moving in from the northwest. It's helping to provide a little bit of extra lift as it gets closer to the state. And then if you look down towards the south, there's a tropical disturbance down in the northern Gulf that's moving in uh, on shore. And again, it's not expected to become any sort of real tropical system, but it is surging a lot of additional moisture into the state. And that's helping to enhance those rain chances as well. Now, looking at the future cast, that tells the story. Scattered showers, heavy thunderstorms at some in some cases as we get into the rest of this afternoon. And even into this evening, maybe some enhanced showers and thunderstorms south of the Birmingham area. Then as we get into Wednesday again, another day where we expect fairly widespread coverage of the rain. Then as we get into Thursday, again, there will be still a number of scattered storms across the, the state, but we expect a little bit less coverage and we'll continue to see that trend as we get into the rest of the week. You can see that here looking at the rainfall chances again, maybe 70 or so percent the next couple of days. And then we stair step that down to by the time we get to the weekend, we're more in kind of a typical August pattern where just a few scattered showers and thunderstorms and we'll definitely be warmer than what we have been here recently. Now, the tropics are uh, at least starting to heat up in, in one area here, and that's where we've got Tropical Storm Aaron. Uh, this is the 10 a.m. advisory. We'll have another advisory coming out here shortly, but 45 mile per hour sustained winds, not looking extremely impressive on the IR satellite, not a ton of thunderstorm development around the center, but it does have a good looking low level circulation at this point. But we'll continue to watch this over, over the next week, uh, is expected to move into some more 
conducive waters in a couple of days where we'll expect it to become a hurricane. And then by the time it gets north of Puerto Rico, expecting it to be a major Cat 3 hurricane as we get into Sunday morning. Now, models are mainly still trying to, to take this off to the northeast into a weakness of a, of a high pressure so that it will curve off and most likely not impact the mainland of the U.S. But again, we'll keep watching it as this will be our kind of first major system of the hurricane season. All right, this is your seven-day forecast for North Alabama and upper 80s again, decreasing rain chances as we get uh, towards the end part of the week, but plenty of showers and thunderstorms around for the next couple of days, and then we get those temperatures into the 90s as we get towards the weekend. And then as we go to South Alabama, similar story, maybe a little bit warmer as we get in the latter part of the week. And again, those rain chances will be on the decrease and we will see something more like what you'd expect this time of year. All right, we'll have another statewide forecast coming up in a little while.